Now your two works for you weather, sponsored by Executive Homes. No big changes here in the weather department. We're still tracking dry, hot and breezy conditions. Those south winds will be cranking up a little bit more this afternoon with periodic gusts pushing about 25 to 30 miles per hour. Sitting at 86, but feeling like 90 here for Tulsa. Dew points in those upper 60s. Really haven't seen those budge much from this morning when we were sitting right around that 70 marking. So it's also feeling muggy out there. Temperatures across the board is seeing those 80s on there, but are you ready to see what it's feeling like? Not anywhere near that. We're seeing 94. How about that in Stigler? as that is what it's feeling like when you factor in those heat indices. So very impressive warmth returning across the uh, heart of the area and we'll continue to see those numbers on the rise. As we head into the afternoon, we'll keep temperatures in those 90s. We'll keep a sun cloud mix around a little bit of a haze going on right now. And as we head into uh, the afternoon around four o'clock, that's when we've been hitting our daytime highs. We'll hit 92 here for Tulsa, 91 down in Oak Bulgy with those winds sustained 10 to 20 miles per hour out of the south. We need those north winds in order to feel uh, some relief from this heat. Those south winds are just pulling in a more tropical like air mass. And so it's going to feel more like a sauna as we head into the afternoon, especially during that peak heating. So if you're working outdoors or plan to be outdoors, Make sure you have a way to stay hydrated and try to limit that sun exposure if at all possible. Overnight, we won't really change too much. We'll sit back in those 70s, so don't turn off that AC anytime soon. 74 will do it here for Tulsa, 73 down on Mulgee. That is our seasonal average for this time of the year. So seasonably warm and humid through the overnight tonight. Tomorrow, we're looking at some isolated showers and thunderstorms returning. And yes, this is a passing cold front that will be driving across and it will shake up some of these temperatures, give us a little bit of relief. But with that cold front, with those uh, south winds and north winds coming together, we do have that opportunity for a stronger storm to develop. We're returning to those 90s for tomorrow. Seasonal average again is right around 94 degrees. We'll hit 91 here for Tulsa. And we do have that marginal risk. That is the lowest end of that severe spectrum, but that is a one out of five for that stronger storm to take hold would be isolated in nature. And right now we're looking at Damon Jean's straight line winds as the main concern. Let me walk you through this on future track. Here we are already for Thursday. So as you're headed out the door, no issues tomorrow morning. The evening commute will start to see some of these showers arriving to our northernmost counties. And this will continue to slide across uh, the green country as we head into the overnight hours with some pretty gusty winds out of this. And it's looking to move fairly slowly. So we could have some heavy pockets of rainfall as well. So plan for extra time as we're heading into Friday morning. We'll keep those shower chances around as we look towards the weekend. But if you're thinking, oh, we have plans anyway, we're going to go up to the lake, take those showers away. We're not seeing anything that will be widely uh, widespread, will be more widely scattered to isolated. So that's some welcome news. Of course, make sure you have that Storm Shield app handy on your phone so we can let you know those updates. Mike and I'll be right back after the break.